Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about none other than FET token, which is, of course, fetch.ai you know if we're looking at majority of the markets today you know we're seeing some coins that are up quite a bit you know agix is one of them render is one of them tau wld jasmine and fetch but you're seeing two ai projects absolutely killing it you know one of the top gainers uh, in the top 100 coins and of course this is bringing in a lot of excitement and speaking of that excitement i've been getting a lot of requests for people wanting to hear about fetch.ai so you want to sit back relax and enjoy the show if you do hold fetch and of course so if you want to see more of these updates do let me know down below in the comments and i will definitely bring that to you guys so if we're looking at fet on the daily time frame it's up 13.1 percent but let me give you guys just a quick reminder how it's performing on the weekly and the monthly so if we're looking at on the on the weekly time frame it's up 70 percent and on the monthly time frame you're looking at a hundred percent move for fetch.ai and that's not even the most exciting part the most exciting part right now for fet is that it's sitting very very close towards its all-time high and maybe even after I upload this video we could be already above its all-time high which we haven't seen since the last bear cycles you know you're starting to see projects having their time and you know fetch.ai was one of the projects that did really really good um you know in the bear market it's one of the ones that had its runs through the bear market you know as ai was being talked about as massive massive companies were um you know getting into ai you know you were seeing a pattern with ai projects pumping but what you're starting to see right now as of today we're seeing fet uh you know back into the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level and of course if you are one of my early viewers you know that we did cover fetch.ai throughout the bear market and you know some of these projects are popping off like crazy so let's waste no more time and get right into it i'm going to share some um you know overall analysis with you guys regarding fet so if we're looking at the price right now it's currently sitting at one dollar and 13 cents it's up 12 percent over the past 24 hours in usc compared to which i already mentioned it's also up 13 percent in bitcoin and ethereum comparative over the past 24 hours now if we're looking at it's a market cap you know market cap is approaching that 1.2 billion dollar mark with the 24 hour trading volume sitting at a staggering 600 million dollars which is of course really really nice to see and its overall current rank in the cryptocurrency market ranks is currently at the top 71 spot so it's definitely having uh, you know a great time and not just today it's been having a great time um, you know for quite some time and of course when I pull out the charts you guys will be able to see that but before I get into it, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So, you know, if you want to see a little bit of a history, which I will actually go into once I pull out the charts, but you know, this project was originally launched by the Binance IEO launchpad back in the good old days. If you're an OG, you understand those days when, you know, these projects on the IEO uh, launchpad were, um, you know, just absolutely going crazy. Crazy. and I've shared the story so many times you know if I held now hear me out guys if I held my original holding for fetch.ai when it was originally launched you know I would be if I held it to this day I would have been a multi-millionaire and I've shared the story so many times but again what can you do right you win some you lose some and um, you know if you're looking at its uh, price history this is literally before I had it before even this price point because coin gecko only shows the uh, March 2020 prices but it was way before that especially um, you know if you were picking it up on Binance shortly after its listing and after that initial pump and even then you know it was barely anything but wow you know I've seen this project go from literally nothing to where it's at right now but what exactly is causing that so as you know um, maybe you do not know this so this right here is a layer two and we know the significance of layer two um, layer two um, which is on ethereum you know as i've said in all my updates the entire narrative for this bull cycle is going to be layer ones and layer twos and believe it or not you're seeing layer ones and layer twos absolutely exploding and you know fetch.ai absolutely insane gains that it's making right now and of course what it's doing is ai artificial intelligence 
and it's working with some of the biggest names that we see in our day-to-day -day life you know companies that are uh, you know getting into artificial intelligence and projects like fetch are bringing blockchain into it as well so you, let me give you guys a quick rundown on some of the partners so you can see this for yourself you know fetch ai machine learning and blockchain solutions so for automotive industry partners you can see we are seeing some of the biggest names like i said ford bmw um you know volkswagen and um, you know, if you're looking at manufacturer industry partners, Fetsco, uh, digital industry, you guys can see T-Mobile. You, you know, the list goes on and on. And this is where excitement is coming into play. As you guys know, AI is the future. And you know, <laughs> are we surprised that uh, AI projects are being, uh, you know, shown so much interest? Absolutely not. On top of that, being a layer one, amazing. But now let's talk about the price. So if you want to take a look at Bitcoin briefly, you know, Bitcoin has pretty much been arranging, um, you know, sideways since it broke towards its yearly high. As I've told you guys several times in a lot of my updates, you know, we're sitting at some crucial uh, resistance. But, you know, one thing you want to be looking at is the way Bitcoin has started consolidating around that range, which is really, really nice to point out. But now if we're looking at FET, let me go down memory lane. So this this right here is what I'm referring to earlier. So, you know, this is when it was originally launched. And then, you know, we're looking at 47 uh, cents listing, but of course that did not last too long. Uh, but you can see this for yourself. You know, FET was literally at 0 0.000 at one point. Uh, and that was, I would say, originally when it was new, I would say um, in 2019, I remember um, at that point, you know, on Binance, that's when Fetch was extremely, extremely cheap. But you could see now what I'm trying to show you guys is this key resistance level. This is back in the previous bear market. So, you know, we started to see a retest back in August of 2020 at 18.6 cents. And then, of course, we saw another rejection, a lot of sideways momentum. And then, boom, as the new year started, we saw a pop off. And we saw the price go all the way up to 88 cents. And then after that, look at this pullback. We saw a 78% pullback after that. And then boom, off we go towards its all-time high, which was at a dollar twenty on Binance. And again, every exchange is going to have its own uh, price, but you could just base it off of you know the Binance charts. And you know then the bear market cycle came, and we did see Fetch drop all the way down to four cents. And I think that was its bottom for this cycle. And if you picked up some fetch around that point and you're holding it till this point, you're up 1700%, which is 17x. Insane amounts of gains being made. So what you're looking at is, you know, I just want to kind of take a look at what happened in quarter four. So remember I said earlier in the update, you know, FET was one of the tokens that was pumping throughout the bear market. Look at it for yourself. And, you know, we were having massive amounts of moves. Um, and you can see we retraced, you know, again, 2023 was not a bullish year. Now, anyone that's going to come out and say, oh, you know, we're, uh, n we were not, we were in a bull market. Absolutely not, guys. We were in a bear market. We did have a fake out. Of course, you can come out and say, you know, we had a fake out. And we did make our way up to the 0.50 resistance, got rejected at that point, retraced all the way down to 18.6 cents, and then off we go towards, um, you know, the yearly highs, which is now. So, you know, this is insane right now. You know, the price where it's currently sitting at is literally very, very close towards its all-time high you know we're looking at just about a six percent move and this could pop off in towards price discovery so you know anyone that is holding fetch.ai this is really really exciting to say the least of course these resistances um, you know are not small of course you know traders know uh, the significance of these resistance so we might see a little bit of a choppy level around here but if the buying pressure is large enough if we do see multiple you know market orders I think we could 
easily push out of this and push towards an all time high. And honestly, you know, all time highs usually 10 to 15 percent move um, because obviously there's no resistances, there's no support. Um, you know, that could be a realistic target we could be aiming for it for the immediate short term. And that would be, of course, if we do see a 15 percent move after that, that's a dollar forty four uh, fetch. But one step at a time, let me know down below what you guys think and what exactly is causing this massive move that we're seeing right now i do want you guys to let me know in the comments down below um, and if you also want to see more fetch updates also let me know in the comments down below as well love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out